Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a haul for you as well as a makeup tutorial. A few weeks ago I ended up buying nine new MAC eyeshadows when the price dropped down from $12 to $8 Canadian. That's a huge deal. Like that's that's a big deal. Um, I know in the States they also dropped down as well. Um, so yeah, I figured that this was the time to you know, expand my collection of MAC shadows. So I bought nine, like I said, and I have them here. That's the, just the pan. It's not the ones that come in the, the packaging. So just the pan. So these nine up here, these are the ones that I bought. Um, I have swatches for you guys, uh, along with close-up shots of the shadows themselves. So the colors that I purchased are Mylar, Omega, Naked Lunch, Quarry, Cranberry, Embark, Sketch, Coppering, And red brick. So yeah, so these nine shadows, I'm really impressed with all of them actually. Uh, I'm really happy that I got mostly neutrals, but then with some plum colors, um, coppering, oh my god, like I needed this like five years ago in my life, and red brick, like that one I was the most excited about to get. So I thought I would do a makeup tutorial for you guys, it's what's on my eyes right now, so keep watching if you want to see how I created this look. Okay, to start off I'm taking my Morphe E22 brush and Omega and buffing that throughout the crease. I always start with my crease first and then it seems like everything kind of blends in a little bit easier than if I do it the other way around. So then I'm taking a smaller crease brush, with uh, the E17 Morphe brush, and taking Cori and putting that also in the crease to deepen everything up. I brought it pretty far into the inner corner as well. Everything looks pretty good there. Nicely blended out and ready for the lid color, which is the gorgeous cranberry. I'm applying this with a flat shader brush. Mine's actually from the body shop. I've had this brush for probably at least 10 years, so really great quality brush. Just making sure that I make a nice clear distinction between it and the crease. Now I'm taking a little bit of Naked Lunch on the same brush and putting that near the inner corner of the eye. It slightly lightens up that inner corner so that it's not so heavy. I'm going to go back in with Cori in the crease just to blend everything together. It's the easiest way I find to make a really nice, like, smoked out, uh, blown out, smoky look. Now to deepen everything up, I'm taking my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush and Sketch and putting that in the outer corner and within the crease. I turn the brush depending on what I want to achieve for the outer corner, so I'll actually turn it horizontal to get into the crease. And it kind of brings it above the crease area so you can really tell, even when my eyes are open, that there is a dark shade there. Now I'm taking my Sigma blending brush, the E25. It's absolutely clean, there's no product on it, just to buff out the edges of the sketch shade that I put in the outer corner and in the crease. Really easy way to buff everything out without adding much more shadow. And then just touching up Cranberry just to make sure that the vibrancy is still there and doesn't get lost with the sketch in the crease. Now for the lower lash line, I'm taking Embark and Sketch, basically a mixture, and putting that along the lower lash line. And then I'm taking Omega on the same brush. This one is the Sigma Short Shader, the E20, and buffing that color out uh, just to really blend it out on the lower lash line. I love a smoky lower lash line, and I actually use my finger too as well, just to blend everything out. It makes it nice and soft and not too heavy. 
And then to deepen everything up just a little bit more, I'm taking Embark on my Morphe M508 brush. It's a really tiny short shader brush and I'm running that along the upper lash line along with deepening out the outer corner and almost making a very, very soft winged look. You can barely tell, but it does just add that little bit of extra drama in the outer corner of the eye. And then just running a little bit of embark along the lower lash line as well, just to deepen that up. Finishing up that deepening up of the outer corner and I'll be ready to move on to the inner corner, which I'm using another body shop brush that I've had for probably at least 10 years now. It's just, it's actually a lip brush, but I use it a lot for the inner corner and to highlight my brow bone. And with this look, I'm actually using Max Mylar to highlight the inner corner. Really great light shade, even for someone who's pretty fair, just like me. And also bringing that up on the brow bone to highlight that area of the eye. Now just taking that clean, uh, another clean blending brush, just to buff everything out and make sure that there's no harsh lines or anything and blending that highlight that I put on as well. Now taking my Chanel eyelash curler, I'm curling my lashes to prep them for mascara. And I'm actually um, going to be trying a new mascara today uh, that I got sent recently. It's the Avon Big Multiplied Volume Mascara. The wand is really nice and it has a nice taper to it. Now it says that this is a waterproof mascara. I found that I didn't have it last completely as well as a waterproof mascara would and it did actually lose some of the curl from my lashes. My lashes are very stubborn and they never like to stay curled unless it's a waterproof mascara. But I do really like the volume that was given with this mascara and I love the way that it looks on my lower lash line. So that's after one coat. And then I'm just adding a second coat because I do like to add two coats of mascara on a regular basis and especially with a smoky look, I like to have that double layer. So yeah, the, the mascara did come out really well but it did, you know, straighten my lashes out a little bit afterwards. And that's the final look, a great cranberry soft smoky eye. You can do this really with any color, just make sure to blend blend blend. I finished it off with a nice berry lip and a little bit of gloss and a very natural blush shade on the cheeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave me in the comment below what MAC shadows you've been loving lately so that maybe they'll make their way onto my next purchase for MAC shadows. I should really stop shopping but you know beauty addict here. It's not going to happen. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And make sure to connect with me on social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Have a great rest of the day. See you guys soon. Bye.